Welcome everyone to this latest episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Welcome everyone to this latest episode of Jim and Java. It's exciting to be here once again this week. We are nearing year end. We get closer and closer by the week. And I hope that you have gotten a good jump on the year end strategy and the year end campaign. I've got a number of videos out there on how to make uh, effective calls, how to do a, a great letter, and a number of other videos that I believe will be extremely helpful. I've got a video coming out very soon that addresses the whole issue of giving of assets at year end, and I think that you're gonna like that and find that helpful. If there are videos that you haven't watched, Go out to my playlist that I'm posting above on year-end asks and making a, a good, solid year-end strategy. Uh, we're moving forward with our organization, and I hope you are as well, too. Well, let's jump right into our question today. Our question today is from Adam in Daytona, Florida. Adam asks, is Giving Tuesday something I should do? Well, Adam, I don't think the question is, should you do or should you participate in Giving Tuesday? The answer really is, how much should you participate? Let me read to you some recent statistics and numbers that I found regarding Giving Tuesday. This year, Giving Tuesday is December 3rd. And last year, 34.8 million people participated in Giving Tuesday. That was 2020. That's a 29% increase over 2019. And that's 13% of the U.S. population who participated in Giving Tuesday in some way or the other. So for you to not be part of that, you would really be losing a lot. So that's why I say the most important thing is how much will you take part in that. I would really look at ways that you can be part of Giving Tuesday, and I'm gonna give you some suggestions in just a moment. But if you're busy, with cultivating relationships with people, making phone calls after you've sent your letter, if you are following up, if you are making sure that you are setting up appointments and visiting people, continue to focus your priority and attention that way. But if you have time, if you're out there already on social media and you have time to post a simple post about Giving Tuesday, about Consider Giving, Focus in a link on that. If you're out on Instagram, one of the neatest things that they just did was they opened up the ability to link to any other location, any other site. So you could actually on an Instagram post nowadays, you don't have to have a thousand followers any longer. You can now go out and put on any post or any story you can put out there your web page and link that, uh, put a link in there to your web page, your website, any giving site that you have, and with the simple logo Giving Tuesday. And that will give you an opportunity to get year end gifts from people. But here's a couple suggestions that I would have for you. First of all, set up clear goals for yourself before you move into Giving Tuesday. Uh, if you are gonna be the one who's investing the time in creating the ads and making sure that there is a push for Giving Tuesday, then you need to get on that quickly. If you've assigned that to another staff member, if you are the leader or, or a executive director or president or even a board member of a nonprofit, uh, you might find that your time and attention is better focused on those calls and emails and uh, visits that I mentioned earlier. But if you have someone assigned to that, make sure that you set a good, strong plan of what you're gonna do. Um, make sure that you look at what, incorporating what I refer to as a micro peer-to-peer -peer strategy. And so a peer-to-peer -peer strategy is when friends are going to other friends, donors to other donors, board members to other board members, or colleagues, individuals in their church, Sunday school class, that someone on your behalf is going to a friend, a relative, a colleague, and asking them to consider partnering with you. The beauty of social media is the ability to share and to get your message out to millions potentially of individuals to give to your organization. But 
whatever your reach is, whether that be 100, 500, 1,000, 10,000, it, your reach is expanded even more when, when people who give to your organization or part of your staff are sharing your information with their friends. That peer-to-peer -peer, uh, advertising can't be beat. And so make sure that you create one or more ads that you can post on Instagram, put on LinkedIn, on Facebook, and get people to share that ad and make sure that you put in there what I refer to as a call to action. You need to make sure that you have a call to action which says, you know, click the link or go to the bio or be sure to give or call or mail. Make sure that you have some call to action. Now, if you use social media, make sure you use the easiest call to action. If it's easiest for them to link or go down to the bio where you've got a number of links in Linktree or some other linking system, make sure that you direct people that way as opposed to write or call us off a social media ad doesn't happen as easily. The next is to integrate your larger narrative. Now, what I mean by that is find out where Giving Tuesday falls into the big scheme of what your advertising is for your end. If you've got an email marketing strategy, if you have your end letters, if you have uh, ads in publications, newsletters, integrate Giving Tuesday into that larger narrative. Where does that fit? Then also do what I refer to as get social. Just make sure that you are using all social media platforms and try a matching gift program. Uh, you may already be using a larger matching gift program for year end. If that's the case, use your match and incorporate Giving Tuesday as part of your matching campaign. And lastly, follow up, reach out to people. If you are already focusing them towards year end, uh, you can also ask them on Giving Tuesday that maybe they would be willing to give a portion, if not all theirs, uh, early in advance for Giving Tuesday. So uh, I hope, Adam, that that helped you with questions. Once again, it's not whether you should do anything for Giving Tuesday. It's how much you should do. And just don't push yourself too much. Uh, Giving Tuesday isn't high priority, but it is a priority that you should be looking at. So I hope that helped your question. I appreciate all of you so much. I thank you for this community. We recently went over 500 subscribers. We're shooting for the next 500. As I always say, we um, are saving a space for you. And also, uh, it is our goal to help you strive to increase your income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. See you next week.